Good morning. We welcome all parishioners and visitors as we prepare to celebrate the fourth Sunday of Easter. The Development and Peace Share Lent Collection will now close for 2021. If you would still like to make a contribution to Development and Peace, please submit your donation this week. Thank you for your generosity. We are looking for volunteers to help out with the church gardens. Any amount of time is appreciated and you can work around your own schedule. If you are interested, please call the parish office. Our celebrant today is Father Rico. Please stand and join in our processional hymn. At the Lamb's high feast we sing praise to our victorious King. He has washed us in the tide flowing from His open side. Praise be Him whose love divine gives His sacred blood for wine. Gives His body Christ the victim, Christ the priest. Where the paschal blood is poured, death's dark angel sheaths his sword. Israel's host triumphant go through the wave that drowns the foe. Praise we Christ whose blood was shed Paschal victim, Paschal bread, with sincerity and love, eat we manna from above. Easter triumph, Easter joy, singers long will this destroy. From sin's power do thou set free, Still, still born, O Lord, in thee. Hymns of glory, songs of praise. Father, unto thee we raise. Risen Lord, all praise to thee. With the Spirit ever be. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we celebrate this fourth week of Easter, today is Good Shepherd Sunday, as we recognize that Jesus wishes us to be part of his flock. At this Mass, we pray in a special way for vocations in general, and also for the repose of the souls of Peter and Maria Loic, Cecilia MacDonald, and the souls in purgatory. For the times we fail to heed the voice of Jesus, our Good Shepherd, we bow our heads and ask for his mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. Lord, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen, amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, lead us to a share in the joy of heaven, so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While Peter and John were speaking to the people about the resurrection of Jesus, the captain of the temple arrested them and placed them in custody. The next day, the rulers, elders, and scribes assembled. When they had made the prisoners stand in their midst, they inquired, by what power or by what name did you do this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, rulers of the people and elders, if we are questioned today because of a good deed done to someone who was sick, and are asked how this man has been healed, let it be known to all of you and to all the people of Israel that this man is standing before you in good health by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. This Jesus is the stone that rejected by you, the builders, has become the cornerstone. There is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among human beings by which we may be saved. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. The stone rejected by the builders has been the cornerstone, the stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. It's better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my Savior. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. 
the stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. I will give thanks to you for you have answered me and have been my Savior. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his goodness endures forever. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is because they did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this, when he is revealed, we will be like him, for we will see him as he is. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Ah, hallelujah. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my own, and my own know me. Alleluia. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me just as the Father knows me and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock and one shepherd. For this reason, the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Alleluia, 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 alleluia.
Good Shepherd Sunday, Holy Mother Church gives us this beautiful Sunday in the middle of the Easter season to remind us of our deep connection with he who's the source of all life. Jesus in John chapter 10, verse 14, clearly says that, I am the good shepherd, and I lay down my life for my sheep. This is what true leadership and true love is. Because as we've talked at length, and we know from our own experiences, family shows us love sometimes and not at other times. There's sayings that say, you're, you know who your friends are when the going gets tough. They're the ones that stand by your side while other friends are like the sunset. Gone. But not Jesus. Jesus is different. Good Shepherd Sunday is always closely connected to the world day of praying for vocations. To the priesthood, religious life, to married life, and single life. It is vital for each of us to discern our own vocational call as we heed the voice of the Good Shepherd. Jesus, what are you calling me to do in my life? Then once we've determined what our vocation is, I've been a priest happily for 10 years. Some of you have been married for a long time. Some of you have been married a short time. Some of you are professed religious and some of you are living the single life. How are we living out our vocational call? Do we heed the voice of Jesus? Or do you listen to everyone else? It is the voice of the Good Shepherd that speaks of a deep, intimate relationship with his flock. You ever visited a zoo or a farm before? You think you know more than the farmer? I've done it. Come on over here, come on. You start talking like baby talk to animals. I don't know why we do baby talk to animals, but come on over here. Nothing, nothing. I think, what's wrong with this sheep, you know? It's because the sheep know the voice of the one who cares for them. Think, who's this Italian guy who's trying to get me to move to where I need to be, you know? So much greater it is with Jesus, right? My own know me, and I know them. This deep, intimate relationship. So how many times in our own vocational call each day does God call us to live more authentically and to live our vocation in holiness? whatever that vocation is. It's a daily decision. And a shepherd not only protects the flock, but guides them. The sheep don't know where to go. The sheep don't know how to get there. The shepherd is the one who's responsible for getting them there, for guiding them, protecting them, shielding them, loving them, helping them. When they get sick, he lifts them up. When they go astray, he pulls them with his staff. No, 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 this way. This is where we're going. Or if they're too slow, it hits them a little bit in the behind. Come on, you're falling behind. This is why our bishops carry their staff. The staff reminds us that they are called to model themselves after Jesus, who is the good shepherd. It's not a weapon, although it's used against the power of evil, but it's not a weapon against the sheep. Rather, it's a tool to guide and help them. So how is God guiding and helping us to live our vocational call? Right here, smack dab in the middle of this holiest time of the year, the Easter season. Well, how many of us are listening to social trends, media, government, what's pop culture saying? No, nope, not the voice of the shepherd. Sometimes they align, but often they don't. And so when we model ourselves after the Good Shepherd, we hear that voice of reason in our minds as we face a particular situation. What would Jesus do is something that's a common way, right? Often when I teach in the marriage prep and I give the conscience talk, I talk about Jiminy Cricket, right? We talked about Fred Flintstone. He's got the little angel and the little devil over his shoulders. But these are not games. This is how we are called to live our life. Who is the voice in my mind that guides me not to fall into sin? Oftentimes it sounds like my mother. Sometimes it's Pope Francis. Who is that voice in our mind? It often sounds like people we know, 
but please God, it's these people who are speaking on behalf of Jesus, the good shepherd. Rico, don't do that. It's not good for you. See the bigger picture. Bite your tongue. Forgive. Love. Where does this come from? The world doesn't tell us that. Go get them. Do what's best for you. Don't worry about it, right? Not the good shepherd's voice. The good shepherd's voice is very clear. We hear it. Sometimes I wish to ignore it. My way is better than God's way. The sheep hear the shepherd over here, over here, and yet they still sometimes go astray. And the shepherd, you know, okay, Rico's astray again, I gotta go get him. And he does. Or she does. But here it's Jesus. Because when your soul and mine wander astray, nothing is more important than getting it back. Just like the opposite is true, when I become spiritually lazy or morally lazy, I don't want to. I act like a five-year-old child, throw a temper tantrum. Rico, you know what you are called to do. You want to be my son, it's time for you to step it up. Go and do what I've called you to do. That's also the voice of Jesus in my head, my conscience, right? A formed conscience is absolutely vital to live out our vocational calls with daily authentic ways that draw us into holiness, that connect us with he who is the source of life, Jesus the Lord. But what's also important for us to understand is this idea of he's not just a shepherd, but he's the good shepherd. So when the wolf comes, when bad weather comes, when any other problems arise, the hired hand runs away. And there are so many people in our life who've done that to us. And brace yourself, there's going to be others who will do it to us. Sometimes intentionally, sometimes unintentionally. Sometimes directly, sometimes indirectly. But nonetheless, Jesus is, I'll always be there for you. I'm never going to leave your side. So we talk about, I want someone to be with me through the good, the bad, and the ugly. Well, Jesus is saying, I'm absolutely with you in the good times, but I'm more importantly with you in the difficult times and in the worst of times. It is Jesus who calms our storms. It is Jesus who dismisses the power of evil, the devil, who's often depicted as a wolf. How are the ways, my friends, that your vocation and mine are being impacted? Are we turning to he who is calling us to holiness? Jesus, the good shepherd. Friends, if today's the best day of your life, fantastic. It's easy to hear his voice. It's easy to feel his presence. If you're currently going through a tough time, do not be afraid. Because again, Jesus doesn't just show us the way. He brings us along. He takes us by the hand. His teachings give us purpose, give us meaning, give us life. I never feel bad when I do what God asks me to do. But when I fail to do what God asks me to do, I often find myself in quicksand. I often find myself in hot water. Use the analogy that works for you. But Jesus tells us, do not be afraid. I'm here. Even when the wolf comes, the shepherd doesn't have the power to stop the wolf from coming close. But he will do whatever it takes to protect his flock because they mean the world to him. And so it is with Jesus. The wolves look different for all of us. And yet what is constant is our protector and our shield, Christ the Lord. And that's why it's in the middle of this beautiful season of Easter where Jesus has triumphed over sin and death that Holy Mother Church gives us this beautiful teaching, this powerful gospel, this important reminder of a God who walks with us each and every day. So friends, as we continue to pray for ourselves and for all around us, may we ask God to help us at times to hear his call when he chooses it to be a little more subtle. May we open our hearts when we ask others advice. First, please God, taking it to prayer. And then allowing good, the Jesus, the Good Shepherd, to speak to others, to give us sound advice which is rooted in church teaching, 
which is rooted in our catechism, which guides us and helps us, that builds bridges rather than creates barriers or tearing, tears them down. But may we also honestly pray that from our own families, my dear people, that we continue to heed the need for holy marriages that are sacramental, that are celebrated in churches, not beaches. Destination weddings are meaningless. You want to go on a vacation? Go to the beach. You want to stay married? Go to the altar. The grace of the sacraments, my friends, are the tools we need to be kept close to God. As a single person, Am I continuing to lead a life that is pleasing to God? Am I selfless, or do I put my own needs before anyone else? As a priest or professed religious, we have to renew our daily commitment so that our hearts will be like Jesus, the Good Shepherd. There are times where I don't feel like doing some of the priestly duties that God calls me to, but that's what it means to love God. To do it not just when I want to do it, but because he's calling me to do it. And I move from duty to desire. We all have bad days, friends. Don't be ashamed of those bad days. But let's not make a bad day become a bad week, a bad month. That's where problems lie. The more I stray from the flock, that's why it's important to be part of a community and a parish, that we are guided by the prayers of each other to support each other. If I'm the only sheep in the pen, then I might start to look to my left and think, what am I doing here? But when I see others that are living the same lifestyle, that are going through similar struggles in their family relationships, economic problems, et cetera, et cetera, then I can be inspired. I'm not here alone. We're all following Jesus, the Good Shepherd. What powerful imagery Jesus gives to us to inspire us and to bring us hope. But we also need to be honest. Who is going to bring the sacraments to our next generation? How many good Catholic families are asking the Lord, Lord, if it be your will, call my son, call my daughter to serve you as priest, women religious, or perhaps as a deacon? It's important. We priests don't fall from trees. If so, I'd plan a whole bunch of them. <laughs> okay? The reality is, the Passero family had to pray, and God called me from that family. Fantastic. I'm so honored and privileged to walk with people who are discerning God's call. The most beautiful call of religious life is when I see a nun. I think of young sister Victoria, who I had the privilege of walking through, and I see her in her cloistered convent, and I see the joy of Jesus working in her. That's inspiring. When I marry young couples at the altar and I see the joy of Jesus in them, this is inspiring. When I see single people living out their vocational call, it's inspiring. When I see people that are, oh, I just kind of think, Lord, speak to them. I need to pray for them. I need to support them. So just being part of God's flock isn't good enough. We need to also do our part to draw the attention of the shepherd Bah, this one, Lord, right? And lift them to his almighty ears. The Lord knows our needs, but at times waits for us to do our part as communion of saints, to shift the gaze of the good shepherd, not always upon me, but upon those members of my flock that are most in need. And so I encourage all of us to not only continue to discern our vocational call if we're at that stage in our life, but for those of us who've heard the Good Shepherd and are living our vocational call, how are we doing that each and every day? Am I living authentically? Am I striving for holiness? Or am I just settling like the world calls me to? Jesus, we pray especially for a call to religious life and to the priesthood, especially in the Diocese of St. Catharines. And so we pray as one church, Jesus, you are the good shepherd. You know each of us and you call us by name to serve you in faith. Help us to respond generously to your voice. 
Give courage and guidance to those you call to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate. To also married life, single life, and lay ministry in your church, so that each of us may respond wholeheartedly and serve devotedly. We pray especially for these calls to be answered here in our home in the Diocese of St. Catharines. And through our patroness, St. Catherine of Alexandria, may we respond to your voice with love. We ask this in all things through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we stand before our God as members of his flock, we proudly profess our faith in him using the words of the Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sin. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Mindful of the love that God the Father has lavished on us by allowing us to be called his children and members of his flock, with confidence we place all our needs before him. The response, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are leaders in the church, that like Jesus, they may be true and faithful shepherds, guiding their flock on the pathway of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That young people may have the courage and generosity to become shepherds of the flock. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In this year of celebrating 175th anniversary of our cathedral church, for the vocations fostered out of our cathedral and all of the parishes throughout our diocese, may more young men and women answer the call to a vocation to religious life with courage. As a diocesan family, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in our community who are sick, especially Liam Need, Leon Blanchette, Giselle Hamilton, Francis and Jenny Bozzo, Tony Petrovich, Matteo DeFalco, Mel Miller, Jen Marinelli, Maureen Winchester. That they may experience the love of the Good Shepherd, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially Caesar Mendoza, Maria Montilla, Janet Rusen, Enio Ledesma, Ronald Wilson, Gemma Poole, Emilio Nella, Larry Venate, Eduardo Piazza. May they rest in peace with the risen Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. At this Mass, we also pray for Peter and Maria Loic, Cecilia MacDonald, and the Holy Souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we verbalize to Jesus, the Good Shepherd, from the silence of our hearts. Heavenly Father, as we journey through life, help us to hear your voice, to obey your commands, and follow in your footsteps. We make these in all prayers through Jesus, our Good Shepherd. is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly trust in Jesus' name. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness I dare not trust the sweetest frame but wholly trust in Jesus name Christ alone cornerstone weak made strong in the Savior's love through the storm Darkness seems to hide his fame. I rest on his unchanging grace. In every high and stormy gale, my anchor holds within the veil. My anchor holds within the veil. Christ alone, cornerstone. Savior's love through the storm. He is Lord, Lord of all. When He shall come with trumpet sound, oh, then may I in Him be found, dressed in His righteousness alone. Faultless stand before the throne, Christ alone, cornerstone, weak made strong in the Savior's love. Through the storm, He is Lord, Lord of all, Christ alone, cornerstone. In the Savior's love, through the storm, He is Lord, Lord of all. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifice of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. By commending himself to you for our salvation, he showed himself as priest, the altar, and lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land and every people exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with all the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of all, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. At this Mass, we use Eucharistic prayer for Masses and various needs, number two. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, Jesus, present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. And when is once for the disciples, so now for us. He opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you my Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and gave you thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus' mercy. The mystery of faith. When, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son and our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. And we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son in whose body and blood we have communion. And so, having called us to your table, O Lord, confirm us in unity, so that together with Francis our Pope and Gerard our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, women religious, and your entire people, as we walk in your ways with faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ. We remember especially Peter and Maria, Cecilia, and all who have died, whose faith you alone have known. 
Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, O God, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her husband, with the apostles and martyrs, Saints Peter and Saint John, Saint Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood, from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments, and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those at home receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present 
in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. All my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. I love your voice. You have led me through the fire, the darkest night. You are close like no other. I've known you as a father, known you as a friend, and I have lived in the goodness of God. All my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. With my life laid down, I'm surrendered now. I give you everything. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. With my life laid down, I'm surrendered now. I give you everything. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. All my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. All my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so good With every breath that I am able I will sing of the goodness of God I will sing of the goodness of God
Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption, and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all under your continual protection, so that by your help and example, we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. Friends, a few announcements. We continue to have the, the masses of nine people. So again, those who have not been to church in a long time for fear of big crowds. There's a very small, beautiful, intimate crowd right here. So as your time back to Mass, please sign up using up the website. Sacramental communion is vital. I continue to tell you that because I want to model my heart after he who calls us to the altar, Jesus, our good shepherd. Number two, which is quite beautiful. We continue to reflect upon the financial devastation that COVID has had on businesses. But as church, last week I had 1,300 views of this mass, which is amazing. Have you given to the church? Here at St. Joe's, we have spent a lot of resources and time to bring you to Jesus. I am not afraid to ask for resources because these resources, I don't get a bonus as a priest. We didn't sign up for this because of what goes on the T4. I assure you, but I need these resources to continue to build the kingdom. So the last slide at the end of this Mass shows you how to give electronically. Otherwise, write us a check and mail it to us because we need to continue to build the kingdom. Some churches have closed down. Our parish is very much alive. And so I'm asking you to help me to build the kingdom. If you are being fed at this altar, then give to God what is rightly His because the monies go to God. Pope Francis isn't writing checks to St. Joe's Grimsby. It's the, you, the people of God, that continue to support this church. And I know many of you are doing it so well. But some of us are just, oh, Father Rico, you're so great, you're so great. Fantastic. Donate to a good cause, St. Joe's Grimsby, so we can continue to use other online resources to assist you. We have completed our 10-week Metanoia program, which has been life-changing. I encourage all of you who use the Metanoia program to now think of the people that you need to show the Metanoia program with. I've given you the videos, and I've given you discussion questions for you to just print. So I've done all the work for you. Your job is to bring others with you. What a great opportunity not to just say, hey, Joe, you need to watch Metanoia. Why don't you sign up with Joe? Why don't we do a family Metanoia around the dinner table and watch it together? What a great way to use this lockdown time to enhance faith. Or perhaps you want to watch the next series. I'm not leading it again. I can't do everything. My job is to give you the resources. It's your job to use them. There are a plethora of resources on form, but the next one that I hear is very good is called the Holy Spirit series that Father Dave and the Franciscans lead us on Wild Goose. So as I mentioned in my weekly bulletin, I will be giving a donation on behalf of the parish to Wild Goose to continue to support them in their good work. You can also give uh, electronically yourself through the parish website, not the parish website, excuse me, through Wild Goose's website, I meant to say, or you can give it directly to us and we'll attach it with our uh, donation. But that's fantastic. 
formed continues to be great. I just renewed us for another year to allow us the opportunity to see all those powerful resources to be used. Nonetheless, these are just a few. If you find a better one, Salt and Light TV, EWTN, there's a plethora of resources that Holy Mother Church gives to us, but it's up to us to utilize them so we continue to hear the voice of the Good Shepherd who speaks to us, who guides us and protects us. May Jesus continue to keep you as one of his flock as we discern our vocation in life and live it to the full. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia. above all things his love endures forever sing praise sing praise with a mighty hand and outstretched arm his love endures forever for the life that's been reborn his love endures forever sing praise Sing praise, sing praise, sing praise. Forever God is faithful, forever God is strong, forever God is with us, forever, forever. Rising to the setting sun, his love endures forever, and by the grace of God we will carry on. His love endures forever. Sing praise, sing praise, sing praise, sing praise. Forever God is faithful. Forever God is strong, forever God is with us, forever, forever. Sing praise, sing praise, sing praise, sing praise. Forever God is faithful. Forever God is strong, forever God is with us, forever, forever, forever.